What's up boys, it's me, Atomics24, uh, aka the Garfield Card King. Also, real quick before we get into the real video, uh, I really appreciate it that when I like comment in a, a Fritanga like live chat when he's live streaming, that immediately someone replies saying something like the Garfield Card King is here. So silent joker. I appreciate you, man, let's go. Anyway, Phil Spencer. Now, Phil Spencer has recently come out and stated that Microsoft is open to make further acquisitions in the gaming industry. Now, obviously, all kinds of people, mainly PlayStation fanboys, are very upset about this. But before I get into their, uh, you know, crying, I guess is the best way to describe it, I just want to quickly give my own opinion on this topic. So the thing is, from my perspective, if they buy out smaller studios like they did with an Exile or Obsidian, I don't really care. Like that's not that big of a deal. But if they buy out like multiple large, uh, you know, gaming corporations like they did with Zenimax or they did with the uh, Activision Blizzard, if they buy out something like Ubisoft, then it's kind of gonna become a problem. But, you know, I don't think it's going to happen either way because them buying Activision Blizzard is already getting investigated. And if they're going to start buying out a lot of these giant, you know, corporations, it probably won't fly with like the FTC and all that shit. But besides that, I really don't, I really don't care. But anyway, with that being said, let's get into some fanboy salt. Xbox will buy another massive multi-plant publisher and their fan base will defend it by mentioning Final Fantasy VII Remake again. The funny thing is, they can buy every remaining third-party publisher and people will still cry that Final Fantasy is PlayStation exclusive and journalists will say this isn't a monopoly anyway, so go Phil! Okay, so it is not a monopoly. It just isn't. I don't understand how these fucking dumb cunts think that it is. Like, you could literally Google the definition of monopoly and realize that you're wrong but i guess that's too much effort even if xbox were to buy out major publishers like ubisoft or sega it still wouldn't be a monopoly monopoly means that there's only one supplier which would mean that xbox or microsoft is the only place you can go to buy video games which is not what it would be even if they bought out a lot of major publishers. Not saying that it wouldn't be bad if they did that. I'm just saying it wouldn't be a fucking monopoly. And it's not just Final Fantasy. There are a lot of third-party games that have exclusivity contracts with Sony, like Street Fighter and Project Eve, Bloodborne, Demon Souls, etc., etc. A lot of JRPGs as well. 20 years in the industry and unable to create new studios or IP. Sure you do, Phil. Are these people like incapable of using Google? Are they that dumb? Uh, Microsoft has created new studios like the Initiative or the Coalition. And the, yes, I know that the Coalition is made specifically for Gears of War games, but the Initiative is working on a revival of uh, Perfect Dark, for example. And there are actually new IPs being created by Xbox Studios, like Grounded was a new IP created by an Xbox Studio or Everwild or Redfall. Basically, every single Xbox studio at this point is working on a game and plenty of them are new IPs and plenty of them are revivals of old IPs and some of them are sequels to newer games. I don't... It's not like they're... They just buy up these studios and the studios just immediately stop working on games and they just sit there doing nothing. Buying major, not struggling may I mind you, third party companies left and right because you can't make decent first party titles, doesn't make you a major player in the gaming industry. You are just taking away games from the gamers who don't own your particular hardware. Uh, no, they're only taking away games from PlayStation who have been taking away games from the entire industry for the past couple of decades. Also, most of these studios, Activision for example, uh, wanted to be bought out. Right? I believe Activision actually went up to Microsoft asking them if they could buy them out. But a lot of other studios, like I believe Obsidian, for example, uh, had a lot of financial issues, especially in the past. And those are issues that can be easily resolved after, you know, having been bought out by Microsoft. And yes, Microsoft is, in fact, a major player in the gaming industry. You can say whatever you want about, oh, just buying out studios doesn't make you a major player if you own as large of a percentage of the gaming industry and your console is considered one of the big three 
you know, consoles in the gaming industry, you are in fact a major player. They can't save their flagship franchise, they can't release a game in the entirety of 2022, but they can have their parent company buy entire publishers to spite their better competitors. Okay, yeah, I'll admit, I, it's not even a mission, like everybody knows this, uh, the Halo multiplayer has gone to shit, it just has. But Xbox is actually releasing games in 2022, you know, they've already released some, uh, like As Dusk Falls, and you know, Scorn is coming out in October. So they're definitely releasing games this year. Again, uh, you could have Googled that, <laughs> you know, it would have stopped you from sounding like a retard on the internet, but anyway. Pretty nonchalant way of saying, we know we can't compete on a level playing field, so we want a monopoly instead. How are they not competing on a level playing field? Like, let's, let, let's be completely honest. Explain to me how they cannot compete with PlayStation. Oh, what's that? What's that? Oh, I'm sorry, I can't hear you over the millions of Game Pass subscriptions. Xbox is very well capable of competing with PlayStation. Uh, they're doing it now. That's also why PlayStation is so scared of Xbox, and also why PlayStation always copies kind of whatever Xbox does. You know? Like, great recent example. Xbox made Game Pass, so PlayStation decided to make a sort of similar service with their uh, PS Plus update, or whatever it was, or when uh, Xbox started buying out studios and then PlayStation had to appease their fans, so they started buying out some smaller studios as well. But let's be completely honest, okay? The Xbox brand has been growing. More and more people are getting Game Pass, more and more people are getting an Xbox, while PlayStation has been kind of shrinking. Okay, less people are getting a PlayStation because people are really mad at PlayStation for their bad anti-consumer practices like raising the standard price of a video game from 60 to 70 dollars and then raising the price of consoles as well. And I don't want to hear anything like, oh, but I live in the US, uh, so I don't care because they didn't raise the price here. Uh, they did anyway, so they, they lied to you about not doing that. Bro, just make the fucking games. This company is disgusting. Yeah, man, they're, they're still making games. I don't know how they're, uh, how they're disgusting or anything. They're still, they're still making video games, so don't worry about that. <laughs> Also, I would like to remind everybody, I know this is at the end of the video, so maybe it's not relevant anymore. All Phil Spencer said was that he was open to the idea of purchasing some more studios. He didn't say, we're looking to purchase more studios, or we're gonna purchase more studios. He said, I'm open to purchasing more studios. But I feel like for the at least the next couple of years, they're probably done buying out like giant major studios, you know what I mean? Especially since, uh, you know, the Bethesda purchase and the Activision Blizzard purchase uh, definitely weren't cheap. Anyway boys, this is uh, about the end of the video. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you all in the next video. Goodbye.